There's people that show up from Kansas, Nebraska, Colorado, Wyoming, some from Montana and maybe the Dakotas that are kind of groupies, <laughs> you know, for polkas. These people like polka music, and they like to come and touch on it. September Fest is a celebration of our cultural heritage. You know, when you're young, you know, oh yeah, it's just a good place to go have fun with the other kids. You know, I mean, as you grow older, you, you know, you want your, your children and your grandchildren to appreciate what their ancestors went through. So this is part of, maybe a very small part of, of, our, of our ancestry, our heritage, that we can pass down. Crop bib. That's what it sounded like when Grandma said it which has evolved into cabbage burger. And cabbage burgers have been part of the German Russian culture forever. A staple, you might say. It is a mixture of hamburger, onions, and cabbage. And then tomorrow morning they will make a dough. And they will fill this dough. It's actually surrounded. Hop ones! Eight, nine hundred. We never have any cabbage burgers left over, I can tell you that. The United States is made up of all kinds of ethnic groups. And to just say, okay, let's meld them all together and you forget everything about your past, I don't think that's right. Uh, and I think most people feel that way. If you can maintain a few of those uh, traditions, it, it gives you a bond with your past. Um, you know, it, it clarifies some things in your mind. Dutch Hop, Volga Germans, Sugar Beets, North and South Platte River Valleys. All of these things really go hand in hand. Dutch Hop is not so much a dance, but an event where you could let down your hair, the German language could be heard, the songs could be heard, uh, and people, particularly coming out of the sugar beet fields, could have a little release. My parents grew up as sugar beet farmers. They had no childhood. As small children, they were laboring in the beet fields. So when I would see my parents go to a Dutch hop, and they would relax, and it was like I saw another side of them. They were laughing, singing, and it, it made me feel good, but it was like they were different people. Kids grew up around it. They were dancing when they were first beginning to walk. The music just influenced them that much to want to be in the band. And we became the polka nuts with my dad. And how old were you then? Nine and eleven. I was born in Denver. So my parents had been here for two years. And as I grew up, my mom always sang the songs that her mom had sung. And then I learned those songs. So we sang those together. The coffee can polka is very, very well known in this area, but it's based on a song. Die Kaffee kann, die Kaffee kann, die steht am Fensterbrett. Die Zut ist ab, die Zut ist ab, von Kaffee ist karet. 
Well, the coffee pot, the coffee pot, the coffee pot stands on the window sill. The coffee can, the coffee can, the coffee is so good. To speed up, to speed up, the coffee is so good. The coffee can, the coffee can, the coffee is so good. To speed up, to speed up, the coffee is so good. It is all about the heart. You know, if you can touch somebody's heart, I don't care who it is. Just see one person come into a dance and smile, you know, and be having a good time is what it's all about.